Hey you guys, it's me Patrick from Podcast About List and as many of you know, today is my co-host Cameron Fetter's birthday. So as a, you know, treat to you and a, mostly a treat to Cameron, I have filmed this cold open and I think that you're going to like what you see. I wish that we could lose this crowd But maybe it's better this way We hurt each other with the things we want to say We could have been so good together We could have lived this dance forever But now who's gonna dance with me? Please stay Never gonna dance again The guilty feet have got no rhythm Though it's easy to pretend, I know you're not a fool. We could have known better than to cheat a friend and waste a chance that I'd been given. So I'm never gonna dance again the way I danced with you. Happy birthday, Cameron. Please. Stop ignoring my texts and calls. Well, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I love that song so much. And many the birthday song. Yeah, I love Happy Birthday. That's what my weird um, math teacher in uh, sixth grade said was his favorite song. The birthday song. He said you would ask him what his favorite song was, and he would no. He genuinely went. My he favorite had you wrapped song around his little finger in more ways. That's than my one. favorite song. Wrapped what? around your linger. I've had me wrapped around your I've finger. I've had me wrapped around your I've finger. I've had me wrapped <laughs> around my own finger. <laughs> the Rugrats movie. That movie what? scared me. I as a kid. thought about that's in a Rugrats movie. Yeah, dude, the Rugrats movie. Remember when he gets the new mom? All I know about the Rugrats movie that that's I can Rugrats remember is Reptar. Whatever the Rugrats movie. No, the Rugrats movie is the Rugrats movie. Rugrats oh in Paris God. is a that different thing. That movie is so heartbreaking, dude. When he's yeah. on the plane and he clicks the flight attendant button because he thinks it'll bring him a new mommy. Is that what I've never seen this one? one I still try that. That's the Rugrats movie. Okay. Rugrats in Paris is they go, which is a weird. A bunch of babies in Paris. That's your idea for the movie. Well, it's mommies and daddies too. <laughs> yes, there's mommies. The and mommies daddies and daddies there. go to Paris. I assume. Yeah, and bring but the babies. fucking Mr. Ch- well, they couldn't Chetty, get Chetty Chuckle. What's his name? Chester. No, the fucking the ugly kid. Tommy Pickles. Chucky. No, the ugly. Tommy Pickles is actually the handsome one <laughs> of the Rugrats. Or so. Phil and Lil. The Ch- and what's his name? Like, Chucky. Uh, Chucky. Chucky Finster and his Chucky dad Finster. Chester Finster. Chucky tries to get a new mommy. I don't think that's his name. Chaz is his name. Chaz Finster. I don't think that's that. I important. think the baby's name is important. Chucky. Chucky his name Finster is Chucky. Is Maybe he goes by Chaz when he gets into grow to all grown up. Chucky Finster's mm. mom has passed away. Yeah. Is that for real? I didn't ever know that happened. He gets I thought that show was about crawling on the floor. <laughs> he gets on an airplane. <laughs> I thought that show was about fucking ripped. And then he went to Paris looking for answers to questions that bothered him so. Wow. And so he gets on the plane. And he sees the flight attendant button, and instantly he's like, "Time to get a new mom." The husband, the H- tries to press the, the husband son, tries the child to do that. son, yes. the baby son, the child son get... of the rugrat, <laughs> the child son of the rugrat, the child daddy. son of Chester Finster. Is it Chester, Chester Finster or Chez? Is it Chaz? I don't know, Chez. man. We have a, we have Finster. a guy who can look this up for me. But the point is, he gets a new mommy on the airplane, but it's not the mommy that he was looking for. So you have the chroma cool. key on your hat. Sorry. It's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> I got White distracted. Hat. White hat. White hat, green hat. White hat, green hat. White hat, green hat. White hat, green hat. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you were doing yeah, okay. Yeah. I was trying to figure out what that song was for that entire time. 
<laughs> I figured it out instantly. It yeah, does. You are he always deaf. does the. I don't think you were hitting the right note on that. White you can hat, tell. Green hat, white hat, green hat. You should yeah, do green yeah. hat, white hat the second time. Green hat, white hat. No, the second time. <laughs> oh, white, white hat, white hat green, green hat, hat, green hat, green hat, white green hat. hat. Green hat, white hat. Yeah. That's no. good, right? That's an amazing song, and they need to put Little John back in the music. And I think video. I know exactly what the music video will be. <laughs> yep. <laughs> a guy wearing a green hat and a guy I wearing put a, on white a white hat. hat. Now I got a green hat. That's yeah. way too many words. Little John would never say all that. What are you talking about? He would never say all that. He only does like three words per bar. No. Yeah. What's that song? But they don't do shit. But they don't do shit. You know the one. That's four words. All I ever remember. That's a sick song. All I ever remember about Little John words. is his song where he talks about, or where they sing about pussies and buttholes. What's that song called? What are you talking about? The other song, Skeet, Skeet, Skeet. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Which Skeet, by the way, <laughs> that probably. Is, he says way, he says a lot of words in that song. Well, he says also, skeet the most, though. He says, but, all these bitches crawl, sweat down to my balls. I would probably... All skeet, skeet, motherfucker. I probably didn't learn that skeet was a cuss until I was probably 18 or 19 Right, you were too old. concerned with shooting skeet. Yeah. You are kind of thinking about that. That's where the sport thing is, dude. I'm from the farm. Yeah. I'm from yeah. one. Uh -huh. So I was out there, and I was shooting from clay pigeons. I was born in a manger. Pull. Mm -hmm. I was saying pull to my assistant. And that you didn't even know pull could be a sexual word. Yeah, you didn't, I didn't know pull could be on, saying, your, on your wiener. And then all of a sudden yeah. I get to the big city. They're saying, <laughs> we're pulling on oh it till it's skeets. Now it's making pulling, pulling your thing till it skeets. And then and they get like, mad at me when yeah, I pull I my pull gun my out. my thing till it skeets. Yeah, of course I you used pull to it think, and then it skeets. Are you an idiot? Have you ever fucking I used to think it was just skeet because of the shooting. I didn't even consider the pulling. You yeah, pull, pull it, and then pull, you skeet. The, skeet pull, it. the pull creates skeet, and then you. The pull does create skeet. <laughs> when you say pull, it creates skeet. It, it creates yeah. skeet instantly. Skeet flies up. Uh -huh. Skeet flies in this as high as it can. Skeet flies in a napkin or the sky. Skeet Not a flies, napkin. and you shoot skeet. I don't like that they took skeet away from us, hmm. and they made skeet a cuss. They because made skeet. skeet I don't know. I guess. I mean. Depends I guess it's technically parents. a cuss. But like, if my kindergartner came home and said "skeet," mm -hmm. I don't know that I'd be like, "How dare you say?" Yeah, that? but what if like his friend is? I think named I would skeet. probably video would be, record it yeah, for I would, Vine. I would think it yeah. was funny. I guess. Yeah. Well, the same way I would if he said "fuck." Yeah. Kids cussing is never gonna get old for me. It's man. always no. funny. It's funny every single time. My nephew Unless they're tells doing on it me. To be mean towards you. My nephew tells on me when I swear, <laughs> yeah. but then he says the swear, and it's so funny. He says, he he says like Uncle Patrick. Uncle Pat said a bad word, and then my sister will be like, "What?" And he goes, "He said motherfucker." That's on your. That's on <laughs> and your it's sister. So funny. Why is she asking the kid to say the word? Just yeah, say I know. It. Just say. Just trust him. Bad word. Yeah. yeah, but it's. I mean, yeah, it's she's asking because it's funny. It's it it is funny. Yeah, it's funny every single. time. It's funny every single time, but especially because he's got a little speech impediment. But it's less funny when the kid gets trained like a trained seal to say. I yeah. agree. When, when parents, I I honestly think, <laughs> I think that it Let's is go. <laughs> actually trashy to cuss around your kids. Yeah, I think that people should not be doing that. You gotta wait till they're adults. Yeah, yeah. You Even have to then, throw down a few. Maybe yeah, wait till they're middle a little school. grown. To throw them out of what? To, you can to, say damn and ass in middle school. Mm -hmm. Right. But, but I'm saying you have, to, you have to swear in front of your kid one time in high school to lay to be like, yeah, that's right. And even, well, even it, when it they're grown the adults, more powerful. even when they're grown adults, until you're like a grumpy old man, you should not be saying, F fuck this, fuck that, motherfuck no. you. Oh, I, I, I'm complete trash. Yeah, I know you are. My my parents swore in front of me all the time. I, I know, I can tell. swears when I was a little boy. I, my parents were That's not. why I was an expert on swearing in elementary school, and that's why kids I learned would learn cusses from me. I learned that I could say crap at school when I was around my parents in second grade. Yeah. I learned that I could well, say I crap saying, in third grade saying, because what the crap? Uh, out of Jimmy's head, that movie, or uh, reanimated... <laughs> They say the word crap in it, and it was the word crap was on Cartoon Network on prime time, and I said, whoa. I wasn't allowed to say sucks. And then I said crap. I wasn't really? allowed to say this sucks. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't allowed to say, to say shut up. There, in my yeah. third grade class, there were people who said that jerk was on par with the F word, and they would try to get me in trouble for saying morons. jerk. What yep. the fuck is wrong with these kids? Yeah, mm -hmm. these jerks. Jerk they is as bad was... as 
F word? Yeah. Hey, t- hey tell that to a, the F a Jamaican. The tell that to a linguist. Yeah. T- tell that to a Jamaican linguist. Tell that to a cussist. Yeah. Which I've been looking into becoming. <laughs> the cussists versus the linguists. A cussist is going to take that every single time. Yeah. Words have power. What, yeah, words have power, but a linguist a is going to make a sentence that a, a cussist couldn't even tell. But a cuss can basically, it's basically adapted to be any word in the English language. It can basically mean anything. I'm going to do mm-hmm. some shit. I'm going to work some shit. I'm going to eat some shit. A I'm going to play with my shit. That True. type of thing. A linguist will know uh, what the, the etymology of the cuss word, I have to word, go to though. fucking work. I have to eat fucking shit. I'm going to play yeah. with my fucking shit. <laughs> It adapts. It can mean anything. I took my shit out of the toilet and played with it. <laughs> I took my fucking shit out of the fucking bitch toilet. I fucked my shit in the toilet. <laughs> I fucked my shit. And then I ate it. <laughs> what? That's so nasty, man. That's disgusting to think about. Somebody fucking your shit and then eating it. But picking the image of a guy pulling his picking up his turd out of the toilet is We're always back. funny to me. We're back. It's always <laughs> funny. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, honestly, if I imagine that, the first thing that comes to mind is like some kind that of picture like picture the guy where he's like, guys, I just took the like as a Reddit post where he's like, I took one of the biggest shits I've ever seen. And they're all like, why are you holding it? <laughs> <laughs> it's still so funny. holding a shit. He's is holding so a crazy. shit that's like the size of a football. <laughs> it's so funny. I always think of it, like if you somebody says pick up a shit, I imagine <laughs> somebody like doing it at work yeah and then having they, they're in like a meeting and then it's like a flashback scene of them being like well i walked into the bathroom i took a shit and then it was really yeah. big and i picked it up and took the a photo funny that one of the funny things to me about picking up a shit out of the toilet <laughs> is is I, I whenever i imagine it or see it it's always somebody always is 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 full handing it yeah you'll never see someone daint like being like oh i don't want to touch yeah. it. if someone's picking up a shit they're going you don't they, pick they it up a, like an eclair yeah. you pick it up like a you, cell phone like a baseball bat well yeah. that, i think yeah. that could be funny is to like to pick it up picking it up like picking it up that's that's a that's a thing i've never thought about because in my head whenever Nobody i imagine it. somebody picking up a shit with their it's bare hands fist. it's well, always like a potato it's always like yeah there's this kid that i knew i think i said it before but there's this kid i knew my my brother's friend, uh, they called him Tater because he got like blackout drunk and like took a shit in the woods while he's Ron, camping or something. Ron, uh, Ron Burgundy. vibes. Ron, Ron Weasley. No, Ron. the Ron. This Ron. I don't know what the, the Ron f- who drinks. The comedian Swanson. The comedian from the oh blue Tater collar. Salad. Tater Salad. Ron White. Ron White. Yeah. But they Ron everyone White called him Tater because he got fucked up, took a shit, forgot about it, and then picked it up and was like, "I think I found a baked potato." That is not That's a true why. story. That I don't know. A lie that, story. Okay. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's. <laughs> I still think I that that is it's funny. True or not. It's picking a funny it up, story, but picking it's not it up, a... picking up a turd and saying, "I think I found a baked potato," is funny. It's definitely funny, but it did not happen. The funny part of that is picking up the shit, though. Yes. But and then I, having the nickname Tater is also funny. That is a made up story. Yeah. I don't care. It's false. It's a I falsehood. Don't, I don't care. They it's told still you this real as a to kid. Me, His it. name was Tater because he ate a potato one time. <laughs> and they <laughs> put a potato to yeah. school. Yeah. And they were like, oh, you Tater now. Oh, that's Tater. And then he's like, how do I, how do I change this? How do I change the narrative? I'm going to pick up my he own shit. He told this story? No, my brother told me. Yeah, that's a fake one, dude. Yeah. My brother said Tater's coming over. That. <laughs> tater chowder who the hell is my brother hanging out with food Foods. yeah <laughs> He's Foods Foods. he <laughs> was best friends with bob the tomato and larry the fucking cucumber I'll i would tell be you friends what. with them actually i wouldn't be friends with them. they seem judgmental yeah is there ever a veggie tales where larry the cucumber becomes pickled and evil there is the a fib. gherkin yeah wouldn't that be good that would, would be, be good. good. Um, no, but I actually, imagine it wouldn't, wouldn't be good to make. When they're in the pickle, Goliath. Well, then they show that they can forgive him. Goliath is the pickle. Yeah, He's Goliath right. is, is the it, pickle. I don't ever watch that much Veggie Tales. Only I watched the songs, a lot really. of it. I watched a little bit when I, had I went these to little, church. I had these little like pewter Veggie Tale action figures. I Not was even on the action pewter. figures. Yeah, <laughs> Instead was, of watching Veggie Tales, my pewter. mom bought them from. Yeah, I was watching Newgrounds on the pewter. Yeah. As soon as I found out about Newgrounds, Veggie Tales was done with. That's right. I watched <laughs> Veggie Tales. I watched Veggie Tales for a very long time. Yeah, they had an amazing VHS case on the Veggie Tales. They, they had the like, green, yeah, the green, they were tapes. green, and they were really. You know, there's like huge ones that have a lot of air in them. Yeah, yeah the, the puffy the ones. Plastic I ones, yeah. love clamshell ones. Oh, clamshells. Yeah. That's what they're called. They were amazing, dude. Uh-huh. And the v, the the Veggie Tales ones were really high quality, man. Yeah. Wow. 
And they had some great stuff on those boxes. Mm-hmm. A lot of info. If you're I a love Bible the freak info like on the boxes. Me too. What was that one? I love looking at I the used to take time. them into the bathroom and I read them while I shit. That was like a lot of. They were, that was a real primitive uh, 3D stuff. Because you, you rewatch the, They should remaster all that, first of all. <laughs> they should do like a, <laughs> Buddy, I have a movie for you. <laughs> they should do like an Unreal Engine 5. If you yeah. want a yeah. high yeah. Tales yeah. Unreal. <laughs> Dude, like re like finding all the old 3D models that they made up for VeggieTales, upscaling them, with, up scaling scaling them, them with AI, and it gets all like fucked up. Yeah, and the proportions are all wrong. <laughs> Putting like a billion more polygons or whatever. Like what they do with like anything thing. like a vegetable yeah. anymore? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like like San Andreas, yeah. like the fucking San Andreas remaster. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing Wait, like they, t- they turn Larry like to a pill. Shack and Benny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Bob the Tomato is not a vegetable. He's, he's a, fruit. a fruit, yeah. Well, but they yeah. also I have mean, the blueberry he's, layer. He's definitely he's a fruit. Yeah. I'll say that much. He's walking around being a know-it-all. He's a yeah. fucking. He's one of these closeted Christian guys that his mega church gets uh, defrauded or defunded because everyone finds out that he's gay. Like a Mark Driscoll. Well, he wasn't gay, but he. I think was my using, mother's surname. He was using hair or not heroin, prostitutes. Maiden name or maybe drugs too. There was a bunch of big. Uh, I mega heard that happen guys. to uh, to this one family called the Gemstones. <laughs> I've actually been watching this documentary. About Wait, really? It. Whoa. Yeah. yeah, they were pretty crazy influential growing up yeah. in yeah. the South. Yeah, but you then you I went to the speaking of pickles. Speaking yeah, of I did. Pickles, <laughs> freaking yeah, I went silly. to the Gemstone Church. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I worked at Parks and Rec too. <laughs> yep. It's true. And then when and my I, dad works at, at Dunder Mifflin. And yeah. then I broke my foot and went to Scrubs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I was friends with a guy named Nintendo. And even yeah. when I was a baby, I went to Cheers. Mm-hmm. And I drank beer with the, I the, drank beer with Norm. Why didn't they call that show Beers? They should have called that fucking show uh, Woody Harrelson's Hairline Timeline. He's going Shut bald the, the whole up. show. He Shut goes bald. up. I save Go this real quick. Quick. Yeah, wait, he can save it. Um, can I save it by presenting Cameron with his birthday present? Yes, you can, because yes. it's Cameron's birthday. This is and it's also it's America's birthday. Yes, That's true. But I don't give a shit about that because of my leftism. That's fucking um, awesome. Honestly, but, I see America's birthday as less of a count up and more of a countdown. Yeah, countdown to annihilation. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's so, something I thought of. A, few years ago something <laughs> wow something i know about cameron is that he loves music right sure. he sure. is a the musician of our gr- group he <laughs> see he loves this song i like this song more than i like uh-huh. anything in the world so um well <laughs> besides whatever i'm about to okay see. <laughs> all right show him the birthday bash so I, I um spent, you painted me I something? came in here early today and I made Cameron something that is I think so amazing. Uh, wow. George Michael. George Michael from Wham. Wham. Which it's supposed to be George Michael, but I said that this looks like Juby. Which is why I put sunglasses in. <laughs> and also why you put George Michael Yeah, I had Wham. to put his name yeah. and the band he it was in. It looks good. It looks great even. Yeah. And I like you put police department up there. I like that too. No, that's my artist signature. Oh. Yeah. Well, I like... Okay. Um, I was The excited. police department was not very kind to George Michael if you remember history. I don't know anything about George Michael. Really? And, and this think is he was, maybe a bad gift. I think George Michael... <laughs> no, this is exciting because it honestly makes me want to learn. George, George Michael was one of the first gays yeah. in music. He was yeah. one of the first gay guys to get got on uh, what would happen to him. They uh, they set his ass up. And, they were going to uh, say on fire. No, they set his ass up. They made it. They, uh, knew, they, set his they ass knew up he was a gay the guy. They knew he was a gay guy, and they were trying to expose him, the British tabloids. So then they oh God. Uh, enticed him with a, a glory hole. When are we going to be not done a with setup. fucking tabloids? <laughs> what are you talking about? That is That's a total setup. He was set up. up. He was fucking, set up. How is that a setup? That's a complete and total they setup. They had a paparazzi on the other side. They had yeah. a paparazzi. And they got and he took a selfie of his yeah. dick. And, and his the mouth. police and the police. <laughs> they had a cop on the other. Uh, the uh, police Bobby. were at the other. The Bobby was on the other side of the glory box, as they call it. Right, it's a the portable UK. glory hole. Yeah. Well, no, it's just a difference, like how they we call it, like a oh. like a so dollar, they a but they call it a, they call it a, a pound. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, I know true. What you mean? Yeah. You know, I didn't know that quid wasn't a different kind of currency until it's last a year. Yeah. It's just a name for a buck. It's uh-huh. a buck. I thought that they had I Couple thought they had quid. quids and shillings, uh, whatever uh-huh. it's called. What's shillings the, is, is a, uh, apparently old. Shillings they don't yeah. even use anymore. 
Yeah. I would hope right. not. They're they're old. Yeah. They're they're made of metal. Pat's Unlike trying to spend coins. crowns. Mm-hmm. He's got a lot of crowns in his mouth. I got so it. Pro- I you might have another man. one on a Friday. I might get another crown in there because I cracked my damn tooth open. So can you tell me why you chose George so Michael? So let me for, actually tell oh wait, you because yes. I walked in and this wasn't George Michael when I came in. There was a different okay, face that was he, drawn on here and it was a picture of Vin Diesel who I like Vin Diesel. Um, but what I said to Patrick was, oh, I get it. It's like a cheeseburger.com slash pun because it's on an easel. It's supposed to be Vin Diesel. And oh, I think that's yeah. what made Patrick and change it. Uh, yes, he's one. He saw the gift, so I got self conscious. It was facing the door. <laughs> okay, I didn't think that you would be the first to show up. Caleb said, "I'm on my way." You said nothing, so I, I'm already I on had my way. no. I had no thing. <laughs> I had nothing to 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 gauge my time. And then uh, I had to turn the whiteboard away from the door, and I thought, "Who does Vin Diesel kind of look like?" Right. Who can you? What can you add on? Yeah. What can I? do to like you know when they like do uh i like can see the cover Vin Diesel a painting kind of yeah like yeah. a renaissance master yeah painting you can the kind of see beneath. does george michael look like that I don't george know. michael I don't, looks I... exactly like this the uh fucking there's like an album cover where he looks like this <laughs> he's a pink body and blue hair he looks pretty much <laughs> a, and they didn't know tea. he was gay <laughs> to a t he looks like this oh I think. I don't think he the does. Mediterranean man. That's why. Oh, yeah. George Michael. His real name is does like Giorgio kind of Kappas he's, Michaelopoulos or something. Does he do Careless Whisper? He has the, these fire. Quasimodo style he does soldiers. Amazing sol- music, shoulder, soldiers. Actually. That's uh, just kind of like a perspective thing right. for his, so my maybe his right kind of art style. His left shoulder is a little closer to us, and that's why it's. No, it's just because. Up. He's doing like this. He's like, yeah. yeah. He's playing the oh, guitar. He's, he's playing the guitar. Have you seen the fa- the? F- well, he has a music video. You don't know anything about George Michael. He has Not a music really. video called Faith. Um, well, I know that Limp Bizkit cover of that song. Here's what okay. you should have done, man. So this is this is him in his leather jacket and his uh little his little Levi's five hundred ones playing his guitar with his big ass. Oh, I forgot the I forgot the okay, fucking. So e- here's I the, forgot okay. the earring. Oh, here's God. what I would have done if I were you, motherfucker. Okay. If you were me, you know, if I was Patrick, oh. here's what I would have done for your birthday if I was thoughtful. Okay. Right. Well, I, I got a birthday. A I have a birthday in uh, nineteen days. I would have drawn for sure. I would have okay. done a drawing. But and what, I would have done what? something wham, but it would have been Wham City, buddy. Okay. Because okay. he is as much a comedy fan as he is a music wham, fan. Wham City also. I would have done Dan Deacon, yeah. Alan Resnick here. Okay. And instead, and it would have said one of their names here. Yeah, or both. And it would not have done it in pink and blue because I would not have wanted to disrespect them. I That's their been, colors, though. Wait, are you saying by using pink and blue, are you saying that he's somewhere between a boy and a girl? Because I don't he's really gay? know. I think it was just... Just say I no to that. Why are you saying I don't really know? <laughs> I, don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know, you but I mean, really if that's know? open for interpretation... <laughs> We're saying, Wait, you're saying you're using more pink because you're saying he's more girl than guy? What Maybe. the hell is that? Is that what wrong? you're saying with what? this you're, drawing? You're, you're, it's the most homophobic drawing I've ever seen. <laughs> How is this homophobic? Because you just admitted it was Wait, homophobic. I'm admitting you're that I'm his, honoring his him. lips with the pink and the beard with the blue. You so said the beards are boys. He has a girl and his, mouth. He has girl mouth. <laughs> and boy hair and boy beard. Yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> and you say, you're say you saying he has a beard also. <laughs> no. This is the most homophobic drawing I've he ever seen. He didn't have a beard. He had a, I guess, a, a husband. I don't know. He had a husband and they were wondering He died on Christmas. He's dead, he too? He died on Christmas? You're disrespecting this dead Wait, gay guy? Wait, he died guy? on Christmas and he had a song called Last Christmas? Uh-huh. That's, That's crazy. That's actually sad. Yeah. Wow. And wow. It's the uh, only good Christmas song. I don't want to die on Christmas. There's no good Christmas There's song. There's no good Christmas songs. I want to die songs, on New But that Year's. one is, it sucks that that's a Christmas song because it sounds amazing. I don't care so and much for that song. I want to listen song. to it I found all out year round. Some, so, um, this is a bit off topic. That's uh-huh. fine. I'm ready to leave this topic. Okay. Yeah, me too. I think we should have <laughs> left right, it a while ago. We'll leave it in two seconds. Okay. Two. I found out something amazing this week. Okay. In 1920-something, a man in Sweden swapped oh, bodies... I've heard this. ...with a man in the year 3960. Whoa. Yeah. Can you believe that shit? No. And there's a couple of different facts about it. I mean, yes, I can. And they're coming at you right now. Number one, in the future... And this is, be- this is 1920. This is before nuclear bombs or anything. But he said that there was a nuclear war in the year 2800 and something. And it wiped out 90% of the population, including most English-speaking countries. So the dominant language in 38 whatever is a combination of like like, uh, Swedish 
and oh. uh, some other thing. Hope it's not Arabic. Swedish and Greek or some shit. Why don't you hope it's not Arabic? Imagine that Strong fucking alphabet. You got all those A's with the umlauts or whatever. Jeff Dunham kind of racism coming out here. How's that? First he's homophobic, now he's being racist against whatever countries they do <laughs> <laughs> Arabic in. I don't know. But imagine having to learn that. I'm giving you the. I'm giving you so much knowledge right now, and you're just trying to make drop it. some more. Drop a little more because I have some knowledge all to right. drop after this. Okay. So not only that, but by that year, we have moved on to the next stage of human evolution. Which is gills, not gills. Wings. It's not. So you might Burrowing think mole hands. you're thinking, oh, it's physical. Oh, it's surely a physical. Oh, thing. oh it's a mental <laughs> autism. <laughs> no, <laughs> there is a. The next step of ev- evolution is people start undergoing this uh, this spiritual change called Nebelreich. Yeah. If okay. The spiritual is not so. Uh, I I knew a no, guy. No. Who no. 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 Keep going. Okay. But keep going. Uh, you're, you're, it changes you're going humanity. It changes uh-huh. humanity from. Uh, uh, being interested in the self and being selfish to being selfless and living for others. And so wow. by the year 3,800 something... And this evolved? It evolved. And if you were wondering about aliens in this universe or in this timeline, this future... In this universe. In by this, this universe, this, you mean our this universe. universe. <laughs> they've existed forever. Okay. They're around. They're not interested in chilling with us. Of course okay. not. They are guardians, okay? And so once we get the Nibelreich, they pop in, they say... What up, what up? You joined the whole kind of league of guys who uh, don't give a shit about themselves, and now you're awesome. The UN. Wow. Yeah. The United so, Nebulas. The yep. uninterested. And he spent like, the and, uninterested. And he spent days and days there in the body of a man who was in a coma and then woke up. Wow. wow. What so, was his name? Some shit. Nebel, right? I don't remember that guy's name. <laughs> yeah. But that is my Science fact That's of huge. the week. I, I actually knew, have some some interesting information too to drop. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, you go ahead. What I just say. i i knew a guy who fully believed that um, autism was the next step in human evolution. He fully believed this, and he said he hoped his all of his kids have autism. That was the big plot point in that terrible Predator movie. That really, Shane Black. That the made. Predator has autism. No, there's a kid that <laughs> it's so, dude. The the kid, the main kid, has autism. And the predator like wants to get him, and then they're like the oh. scientists are like the reason the predator is trying to get this kid. But I think I remember this. Is this because the one, he has like, autism? Two thousand eighteen, or something? like twenty seventeen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the kid, and it's not a good portrayal. Of, it's like it's fully like a like a moaning noise mm, portrayal yeah. of autism. Yeah, but he's and got like, like, and they're going like the predator wants him because he's he's highly evolved. <laughs> he's like a little I believe kid, this. and he's drawing like pictures. And he's doing like Magneto, duh. like in the prison thing, where he's doing like just standing up and all the stuffs flying around him. He's not doesn't do anything. Or like Matilda in her house. He has and no all the powers flying around her. Can't you give yourself autism with if you microwave plastic or some shit? Let's start doing that. What are you talking? About? Like the stuff in plastic? If we microplastic? I know uh, the the that's when it's B- gets small. BPA. That's if you put plastic in a shrinker. Yeah. <laughs> We should <laughs> whatever you do, do not use plastic bowls in your shrinking <laughs> machine. Because you, you will end up with a microplastic. <laughs> you know what you can give yourself? You put uh, some plastic in the oven. Spider Man, get some shrinky dinks in there. True, shrinky dinks. Yeah. What's a shrinky dink? We oh, okay. <laughs> we can't. We no. can't get into the. We're not. We doing have let totally me share, let 100% me share. I've never heard of shrinky let dink. Me, is let me let me share my information because this is okay. more important than shrinky dinks. Okay. Yeah. which are a kid's toy. Is it on the same level? It's as barely my idea? a toy. It's not quite on the same level, but I think that it could eventually get to that level. Okay. Um. Basically, this Facebook group that I've been moderating for a while. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, the group chat. Yeah, so I've been moderating this Facebook group for like a little over a year on Facebook. <laughs> what? <laughs> that, you know, I what told you it? about this before. <laughs> what is it? It's a conspiracy group for <laughs> people who don't called? like. I don't want to say what it's called because I don't want people to join. How'd it. you become the moderator? I just like I, I like woke up and I got a notification on my phone that said you are now an administrator of this group. <laughs> like it just randomly gave it to me. That's so amazing. I've been fighting spam on it, which uh-huh. I so I've been kind of on the front lines of spam. I've known all that you know all the spam links to try to get old people. That are like, unfortunately, Justin Bieber has died going yeah. 120 miles in sh- per hour in Chicago. What? Mm-hmm. I get Running. those all the time. Wait. And I, I see all Wait, them. what happened to Justin Bieber? That was actually false. Like, oh, oh my God. thank Christ. But oh actually, you know, let me God. actually check really quick what, what the current one is. Because they're always, they're always doing stuff like that. Um, uh-huh. They always have... Well, no, I can't. I'll find it later. Yeah. But anyway, uh, 
I this group that I've been moderating and kind of welcoming new members and such, uh, they recently added to Facebook a function where you can make a group chat attached uh-huh. to the group and it will automatically put everyone in the group into a group chat. Okay. And so I made this chat and I told everyone, welcome, welcome. And everyone was saying, hello, hi. I was like, how's everybody doing? Um, and this is what I, I received from member Brenda. So uh, this is Brenda. Something. Here's what Brenda said. So before you go, this is the Facebook group where the woman believes that her son is an angel who no, doesn't this is, need to I eat wish I was anymore. an administrator of that group. Okay. My group is a lot lamer. That's why I don't want to get uh, up in I yeah. want to kind of make it cool before I get anybody mm-hmm. in there. Because it is kind of I tried you to start I tried to start Free Thought Fridays in there. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and the only response I got was from a guy going, What? <laughs> Oh my so god. It's been it's been kind of rough getting this off the no ground. No free thinkers there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was your idea for Free Thought Friday? I just said yeah. Happy Free Thought Fridays. I was hoping someone would. Well, get something you should going. you should have at least explained what it is to the people. I mean, I'll I don't do that next Friday. Yeah, yeah, next I'm gonna Friday. Be doing a week. I'm I'm going to be ramping this group. Can up. you I'm add be... me into this? Yeah, yeah me I'll, too. I'll I I'll only in. I only have a Facebook to use my Oculus. This is the only reason I have a Facebook. <laughs> and I think it's called Doug something. <laughs> um. So this is what Brenda messaged me when I said, uh, "How's everybody doing?" Okay, right now, things are awkward as hell in this group. So, what do you guys personally think about Biden's latest comment about selling state secrets? Was he kidding? Or did he let something slip that he really wasn't supposed to let slip? Whoa. And then I said, I wouldn't put anything past him. Yes. Anthony Uh said, me either. Damn. Then Brenda says, I'm kind of thinking that his dementia mind sold him out. There is no video that indicates that he was kidding. Look at his face. He's not joking. And then... I said, what's everyone getting up to tonight? <laughs> and, then, and then Jeanette said, and this is the bombshell. Jeanette okay. said, I believe Biden is played by four different people, and we are watching theater these days. Whoa. And I said, true that. And then Jeanette said a thumb, sent a thumbs up. And then JM sent a thumbs up. And then Brenda said, is it only four? Whoa. She's thinking it might be more than four guys playing the president? Yeah, that is incredible. Here's uh, you are being so disrespected as a moderator that you're asking, there, "What is everyone doing tonight?" No nobody. Complete, I'm no. being completely. That's iced why out. we got to get in no there. Time I say, no responses. How's everybody doing? No. Responses. Okay, this is awkward. You need a couple of plants in there. Yeah. Who yeah. when you send stuff like that, I like can be Free like, Thought Friday so or I'm like having meme a fucking Wednesday. amazing time. Yeah, I need maybe maybe I will Crocs Monday. I'm switching my meme pool Wednesday. from Crocs, all yeah, chlorine Crocs to Monday. half chlorine, half salt. He didn't even participate yesterday in Crocs Monday. Also, I wore Crocs yesterday. But did you send a photo like me, Cameron, and Jubio? That's a stupid day. Crocs Monday is a good day. That's Crocs a dumbass day. day. It's a good day. We are, our group chat already has me. What other Wednesday. what other day is gonna be we Crocs have, Day? There's no day that yeah. there's no to, reason to have a Crocs day. You think in there's a, a day chat. called Crun Day? It has I to don't be Monday. Think that there's a day called Crun Day. Crocs Crun Day. You think? Crocs Crun Day. I don't think there's not. a day for why called you wouldn't have Crocs Monday. I'm saying Caleb, that you're you have lost. Okay, the plot. you think it's called Crocs Crun Day or Cry Day? It should be Casual Friday. Which is, you can that's do whatever separate. you want. Or that's Free that's Thought separate. Friday. Whatever. So we can do Free, free Thought Friday. Free Thought Friday should, is that I'm, new, I, that's I, staying. I, I, I would say I'm the the number one advocate for Meme Wednesday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Meme Wednesday is huge. I love Meme Wednesday. For me. Meme Wednesday is very big. In the group chat. We see yes. some funny ass shit. The yep. skeletons jumping around. Uh-huh. There's skeletons. If you jumping don't like around. jumping around my iMessage. If you do not like <laughs> so ironic skeletons. Jumping around. <laughs> When you jump around, when you're jumping around, it's a picture of a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> if you do not like me funny when I'm ass, jumping, <laughs> low poly skeletons. Mm-hmm. If you're scared of that kind of shit, yeah. do not enter our group chat because do you not. will be right. afraid. You are not allowed not in there. Otherwise, you can enter. Uh-huh. Otherwise, you're fine. Just give you me your number. See, here's the thing: we got to keep Thursday and Tuesday. Thursday and Tuesday, those, and those are, are work day days. Those are work something. days. Those are, those are also like... Those are discussion those days Those are kind of work like stuff. extracurricular activity type days. Uh-huh. Those are the days that I would be doing baseball or Caleb might be doing gymnastics. Yeah. Yeah. So we kind of want to keep those... I, I do beam gymnastics lunch. for yeah. people who didn't know that. I do beam gymnastics. <laughs> beam gymnastics? Beam. Beam? beam yeah. yeah. I do the one on, on the beam where you hit oh, your balls okay. real And hard. I do yeah. beam inventions. I invent laser beams. Whoa. Yeah. So you don't have a hobby. Uh, I do Sunbeam electronic sales. I sell like toasters and fucking. Is it Sunbeam? That's not a hobby. Bread? That's a job. Yeah. <laughs> I basically. Selling stuff isn't a hobby. <laughs> well, it's a hobby when it's on eBay. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's actually completely true. So eBay, it's a hobby. Uh, loading dock, it's a job. Yep. 
Speaking Etsy. of, when I, but what's Etsy? That's a hobby. Speaking of loading docks, wait, no, we got to keep going. With let the, me let me saying? call yeah. out. Let me call out crossword creators real quick. Okay. <laughs> when you have a clue that says online marketplace, and you start it with E and you end it with Y, and it's four letters, and you know that everyone's putting eBay in there, but every time, one hundred percent of the time, it's Etsy. People are onto you. Uh -huh. We put Etsy in now. We don't think it's eBay anymore. Switch it up. You stole the words right out of my mouth. Thank that's God. That's something I've been about thinking about. This. Thank God he said this. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really, I mean, Thank that's Thank God shit. he fucking said this. And also Walgreens security guards. Yep. Yep. Talk to you him. You do not need a gun. <laughs> no stop way. And you do not need a gun and you need to stop buying Gatorade. Uh-huh. Because I, the, and here's the Gatorades the thing. are free for them. I am sitting in the line, mm -hmm. minding my own business. And, oh, and there's another part about the security guys. The security word, the word security, needs to be on the front and the back. Mm -hmm. Because when I'm in line behind you, yep. when I'm in line behind you, I am seeing just a black shirt, black pants, a Gatorade. And I'm hitting you in the back of the head to make uh, you go uh -huh. faster. <laughs> I'm seeing a black shirt, black pants, a Gatorade. I think you're an usher for the line. I have my extendable fork. I'm... This is a problem. I'm seeing the, the all black outfit, uh -huh. a Gatorade, and a Glock mm -hmm. on the guy's hip. Yeah. And so I, my cortisol levels start going insane. Uh -huh. I'm becoming so stressed out that I can't even see, right? I'm bumping into stuff. I'm accidentally cutting the line in front of every single person and being confused about tap to pay, right? <laughs> because of how much distress this is causing yeah. me until I see them turn around and they have security on their on their shirt. Uh -huh. Yeah, they have to have a big Velcro patch. Also, you should be wearing a bulletproof vest that has a Velcro patch that says security. Yeah. If you're going to carry a gun. Yeah. And if I pay you enough, I get to shoot the vest. Hey, and another yes. thing. Hey, Wendy's. Yep. Thanks for making me my food the other day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was good. What'd you get? The thing. The Dave's double. The mm -hmm. bag. The biggie bag. What are you yeah. talking about? The bag. The biggie, biggie bag. bag or the fofo fo, fo, fo. The biggie bag or the fofo fo. fo. Is it a four for fo, five anymore? Any, they no, do a fofo fo, 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 five. Still. I thought it was a fofo fo, five. I think it said four for four. That is so <laughs> fucked up. I think they have four, five, four, and four, six. Four. The biggie bag is the they have five and six, and when I think they, they also do four for four. four when fo, they fo. when Applebee's adjusted fo, fo. the two for twenty to be the two for twenty five. I felt a disturbance in the force. I like sat in my. I remember mm. being at home and mm. feeling, mm. feeling like a shock wave over my body. Because Applebee's changed. Applebee's, Applebee's changed. Is not good, man. I've been to Applebee's. Yeah. I think two times. No shit. I think I've only been with you guys. Yeah. No shit. It's Me not too. good. You go there. You get two meals for twenty dollars. I'm a TGI Fridays man, or a Red Lobster fan. Red Lobster. Yeah, yeah I guess so. I didn't grow up with them. I in my head, it's rare. A red yeah, lobster. I've never really. Yeah. They're all I've actually over. never been to Red Lobster. Only Red Lobsters in Connecticut, New England. I always just got the the. They have the the cheddar biscuits. Chubio's there. pulling up They're chilies. So, so good. Chilies for me. <laughs> I've chilies. only been to Chili's one time. <laughs> chilies is good. Chili's, chili's is, good. is better than Applebee's. Yeah, Chili's you can get nachos. In, yeah, so that's a big bonus. Didn't plus. even know that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't even know that. Speaking of jobs, speaking and of working at different different accidents. kinds of jobs. Well, okay, so at Chili's. What kind of workplace accident Getting would you get? The chili uh, in your eyes um, from the logo. That's Fa so true. Fajitas Stabbing accident. Stabbing yourself on a chili. Yeah. Bringing a fajitas to a table and I'm, a ch a little punk puts his foot out. And you're 100 percent right. Why didn't it, yeah. uh, that definitely? Ha there's some OSHA that's violation a with with the good fajitas. Search. Yeah. Fajita. But ah, fuck! I should have looked up fajita. <laughs> we uh, yeah. today we decided that for the 4th of July. Uh -huh. And I got to look up who uh, suggested this in the Discord. What's more American than getting extremely physically injured at your job? That's my point of view, at least. Yeah. Well, I think the only thing more American than that is being unemployed. Holy shit. Uh -huh. Holy fuck. Talk on that. And there should all honestly be an OSHA for people who don't have jobs. <laughs> uh -huh. That was, uh, I think this was Vexa. Okay, so thank you, Vexa, in the Discord for sending mm -hmm. this. OSHA, for people who don't know, OSHA stands for Oh, oh shit. shit. He he's hurt injured. his arm. <laughs> 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 oh shit, he's injured. <laughs> Which is a some kind of it's a some kind of acronym that it's a saying. It's a saying, basically. It's a popular and saying. So anytime somebody says this saying, it's very powerful. On a work site, the yeah. government 
which I uh, don't even get me started on the government. But the government has to put this in a database of every uh-huh. time somebody said, oh, shit, he's injured. So we they have an online database, and we found some... Hilarious accidents. Some funny-ass yep. accidents. And we had a rule. Yep. And if it wasn't for this rule, I want, I want to say this would be a much funnier episode. Yeah. <laughs> But, but the somebody rule was necessary. Got but the rule was we couldn't do anything where somebody died, uh-huh. yeah. which was I'm gonna say 90 percent of these yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty much pretty crazy. A good chunk of them. Yeah. I, yeah. Can I say one that where someone died that yes. I didn't put in? Yes. Uh-huh. Cowboy died falling off horse. <laughs> Because every other thing uses the word employee, but there's one that said cowboy. <laughs> okay, so cowboy. But died. that one's not funny but because someone died. Somebody's yeah. somebody somebody not died. We're funny. A tragic, pa- a tragic cowboy passed on to the it's next world. It's not funny the because the ranch in the sky. The cowboy satisfying. didn't die in like a gunfight or any like a lasso thing. That yeah. should be a cow. By the way, cowboy should not have that's not any, a job. That's not a job. Not a job. Not that's not a job. That's a, a thing you. Where for Halloween. That's a legend. Yeah. And you should not have... Uh, OSHA should not be involved in cowboy. That's the most dangerous no. job there is. Yeah. They That's have like a, a different... Hitman. They have a different yeah. uh, It's the same as thing. a ninja yeah. or a robot. Exactly. Yeah. Why the fuck are you... A cowboy is exactly the same as being a robot. Although there is a lot of robot stuff on OSHA. <laughs> yeah. If you search yeah. robot. All right. Uh, throw up my PowerPoint. I want to go first Throw here. up. That was another good search term. Yeah. I don't have all so many. Drive heave. Um, <laughs> all right. So here's, here's some that I found. Uh, some accidents. Employee is injected with soapy <laughs> water. At approximately 7.40 a.m. on September 5th, 2006, employee number one was cleaning mandrels. I don't know what that is. Uh, when she accidentally injected herself with soapy water. No. Injected a herself mandrel? with soapy How water. How could we have stopped this? What kind of regulation yeah. do we need to, to come well, up with? Well, first of all, this? we should probably not be cleaning with a syringe. Yeah, I agree. That's, that's a horrible. The number yeah. One. How are you injecting Swap yourself the with syringe soap? for the sponge? Yeah. yeah. Let's use a sponge. Using a syringe, a, a brush. You, <laughs> using a syringe on the ground to clean something, it really <laughs> it's makes inefficient. Very uh-huh. little sense. Dangerous. Nah, it, yeah. it doesn't even like it. It, it, it doesn't even make any sense. I'm yeah. getting flustered. And just the, maybe the about mandrels it. can stay dirty if yeah, it's between yeah. that and injecting yourself. Mandrels are not that. And listen, important. even if you inject yourself with soapy water, you're not going to become cleaner, man. <laughs> no. no, you're not going to clean faster. You're not going to bust. You're not going to be able to use your skin to scrub the. No. There are so many of these incidents where you read it and then you think to yourself, "Oh, this guy was trying to become a superhero in this way." Yeah, true. There's one where that you'll see that is 100. percent That is one of the craziest things I've mm-hmm. ever read. Um, Here's this next one. Employee suffers respiratory distress, brought on spray deodo. Was this the one? Assume deodorant. Was this the one you were just mentioning? No, you'll know. Okay. You'll know. He was trying to become deodorant man? (laughs) (laughs) At 7.30 p.m. on September 16th, 2018, an employee was completing shift change in a patient's room and suffered respiratory distress brought on by the spray deodorizer. Oh, my God. This is me in the damn locker room in middle school when I was in friggin' sixth grade. Axe dark temptation. Drop the axe. Uh Uh, But also, I have to say, this guy probably was stinky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If he's so allergic to deodorant that he's having to go to the hospital, yeah. (laughs) He was stinky. This is employee turns into chocolate man after spraying Axe Dark Temptation on himself. Mm Mm-hmm. That's a good commercial. That's the most amazing commercial of all time. All right, here's the next one. Employee accidentally ingests brake cleaner. (laughs) This one was really making me laugh. At 9.30 a.m. on January 13th, 2020, an employee filled a Gatorade bottle that was in the shop with water and Mio Energy Liquid Concentrate. (laughs) The employee drank from the bottle and thought he smelled a chemical odor, but figured it was a co-worker working on something in the shop. The employee took a second drink from the bottle, finishing approximately (laughs) 75% of the contents. After taking the second drink, the employee realized the chemical smell was coming from the Gatorade bottle and recognized the smell as break cleaner that had to be like a, a prank, wait okay so right? you drank 75 percent of it in two drinks this was an empty <laughs> this was an empty gatorade bottle that you had been used to uh, to house break cleaner at some point i guess it doesn't yeah. really specify i would like to imagine that there it was partially full with something and he just yeah. topped it and off he's like ah oh, well I'll just yeah what does break cleaner smell like this is if anything this is an amazing uh uh advertisement for mio yeah, yeah. mio but can he, mask mio, the taste can. of break cleaner yeah. you can't you can drink anything That's, with me but on also that. if he had not put the mio in he p- wouldn't have had nausea which is what he suffered from <laughs> true it was the aspartame the accident was because of the mio they called osho over some nausea it was not i mean i think he had to go to the That's hospital some bullshit but um 
This is the insane one. <laughs> <laughs> Employee incurs arm swelling from piglet vaccine <laughs> infusion. He was trying to become pigman. In uh, at 9 a.m. on October 4th, 2019, an employee who worked on a pig farm was administering exceed vaccinations to piglets. The em- employee infused herself <laughs> with a full <laughs> dose of the vaccine in her left arm. The employee had a serious reaction to the Holy vaccine, shit. In cold and clothing, swelling, and restricting blood flow. What she was, was the vaccine? Ex- vac- exceed vaccinations. She was vaccinating piglets, and she thought, I'm going to put this in my arm. I might as well give myself the piglet vaccine. What is an, it, what is an exceed pig? vaccination? That's probably some kind of vaccine for pigs. Don't worry about that. I don't, yeah. It's, well, what I, does you it know, do to I, the pigs? It probably, probably prevents know. disease. Probably prevents exceed. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe it makes them exceed. Piglet vaccine infusion is so insane. Yeah. I couldn't believe this. This is why I didn't this get is, the jab. This does not seem like an accident either. Yep. That, oh, I, it's I, not I, an accident. How do you put a full... She was wearing roller skates. She was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. whoa. Yep. How do you put a full thing a of full piglet dose, vaccine too. in yourself? <laughs> yeah, but it just her arm just swelled. Yeah, it's really not that. I would have thought not that it so was... Bad. I would have, yeah. yeah, I would have thought something bad happened. A snout or something or a, yeah. a tail. Like Twisted yeah. tail from oh the God. Simpsons Pinocchio. movie. Yeah, yeah or that's that'd a be bad news. Okay. Um, expl- <laughs> so employee experiences nausea and fatigue while working. No. At approximately 9.30 a.m. on September 2, 2008, employee number one, an inspector, was at a cinema roof performing steel inspection. He was feeling a little weak and went downstairs to the restroom. In the bathroom, he started to sweat, so he walked towards his work <laughs> box area where a co-worker gave him some milk. The employee immediately vomited and emergency medical services were called. He was taken to the hospital and given an injection to prevent nausea and vomiting. A handheld nebulizer treatment with breathing medication was, admi- was administered because he sounded congested. He was diagnosed with weakness, malaise, fatigue, <laughs> but was not hospitalized. He was released after four hours without any work restrictions and was advised that his blood work and EKG were normal. <laughs> the, attribu- the employee attributes his symptoms and condition to his personal medical condition and not work related. He did not want to disclose additional information about his medical condition and did not want to sign a medical record release form so from the he hospital. Got... He drank some milk, he threw up and he wow. had to go to the hospital. <laughs> wow. And then he got so embarrassed that he <laughs> yeah. didn't want to sign yeah. over yeah. <laughs> the like, medical release. They were like, you're completely normal. Nothing is wrong with you. He's like, this is actually because of my personal condition. <laughs> <laughs> we need to call OSHA right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> calling OSHA because he sweated in the bathroom. I've had like moment like moments like that where I'm like, if we oh, had like, to file so OSHA sick. complaints for this for the podcast, yeah. I would have this complaint ten thousand times. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Tummy ache. Yeah. yeah. Tummy ache. Sweating in uh, the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Taking your shirt off to poop. I don't take my shirt off to poop. Mine was I already have it off. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool to learn. Um, okay, then we have employee injured by <laughs> soccer ball. An Please inc- tell me this is in FIFA. <laughs> An incident occurred when employee number one was seriously injured by a soccer ball. The soccer ball hit employee number one's head while supervising kids playing soccer ball. Employee number one was transported and confined at the hospital for treatment of her head injury and concussion. Occupation, Damn. guards and police. So Imagine a cop got it was hit. a school cop. A cop oh got hit by God. a soccer ball and yeah. went to the hospital and then called OSHA. Yeah. Yeah. You think I feel like he was planning that? He was like, I could probably get some well, cops off girl. of that. Oh, it was a girl. Yeah, he can doesn't think girls can be Cameron, girls. A lot of years, cops. no, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, a lot of years are girls. A lot of them are women. You're trying to hurt girls. No, it, I don't think you're girls trying to make us laugh at girls, girls hurt. You don't think girls die as much as guys? <laughs> yeah, because they don't have as many jobs. <laughs> no, I'm um, kidding. Okay, then these are just a bunch of, of ones that are that don't have descriptions. I just put the funny titles uh-huh. in. Employee suffers non work related chest pain. So why call OSHA? I don't know. This doesn't mm-hmm. this doesn't fit to me. Seems like you shouldn't call OSHA for that. Uh, employee suffers burns when sprayed by thick hot bee juice. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a death? Is that why you uh, didn't no, include the description? No, all, no, none of these are deaths. Okay. I have no, uh, but the. I mean, this the description thick of this was like beet juice. an employee got sprayed and burned very bad. Like, it's not very uh, yeah. pleasant, yeah. but thick, hot beet juice. Yeah, it feels me. like the titles are funnier than... Yeah. So then, <laughs> here's... <laughs> I have a whole series. I'm going to go through lightning round here. Okay. Employee is attacked by lion. Employee's hand is bitten by wolf. Employee's finger bitten by chimpanzees. Employee discovers bees at work site. <laughs> employee injured when attacked by river otter. Employee injures leg when attacked by panda... When attached by panda bear. Employee injured oh, by venomous I had vector. I this one. I have venomous vector. Uh, employee injured by venomous that vector. I loved that one. Employee is bitten by insect during maintenance. Employee performing some apartment maintenance and was bitten by an insect he 
hadn't seen. Employee injured when elephant sits on him. <laughs> <laughs> Employee injured when door kicked by camel. Door kicked? And that's all I have. Car door? But I I know that we that these are all from a zoo. Yeah. Uh, I, we have to live in the fantasy land where these guys are working a factory floor yeah. and they get yeah. sat on by an elephant. Best Buy, uh-huh. all that kind of thing. Yeah, the Best Buy elephant that fucking just sits in there. All right, go yeah. over to my sluds. I pretty much have the full of all of these. Uh, okay. Employee experiences adverse reaction after insect bite to G. And I'll tell you what G is. <laughs> At 3.30 p.m., an employee was operating a forklift when he was bitten by an insect on the groin area. <laughs> no, the employee was hospitalized due to an adverse reaction that required cutting away the infected area. Oh, This guy got his penis cut off because a <laughs> bug bit it. Jesus. That is not good news. I also I have a similar one to this one. I can show this you later. This is awful, awful news. Yeah. That's and, terrible. Uh, and he was 57 years old. So oh. he was a little past his sexual prime, so I'm yeah. not too worried about doesn't it. doesn't matter actually. that yeah, much. Yeah, he lost yeah, his he just like, it was basically menopause for him. Employee. I bet it was an excuse. I bet he didn't even get bit by a bug. Employee yeah. <laughs> lacerates <laughs> genitals with skill saw. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Why are you putting this in here? <laughs> employee. <laughs> this is worse than putting in the one in the death ones. Number one was preparing to change... Uh, bracket on a skill saw. He did not unplug it. He was kneeling with the saw between his legs and using oh, a wrench God. to rock the nut holding Caleb. the blades. As he did so, the saw started climbing up his pants leg oh. and lacerated his genitals. Hey, he, he rocked his nuts for sure. He That's definitely rocked his nuts. I would call that an unskilled saw. <laughs> Pre- yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, employee is not injured, falls asleep, operating vehicle. Hell yeah. Employee number one, the driver and co-worker were traveling in company work vehicle on a public road. Employee number one fell asleep at the wheel and drove off the road into a fence. Employee number one did not receive any injuries in the accident. The co-worker was taken to the hospital and underwent a medical uh, examination. After being uh, e- valued by a physician, he was released on the same day. My thing with this is why are they calling OSHA? Yeah. Thought, yeah. Why are you There's a lot of stuff on here. There was one too that I didn't put in or another another like death one that I didn't put in because it was a death. Uh-huh. It was like employee dies at home from non-work related cause. <laughs> <laughs> you could have put that one in. Um and this guy I was following the rules. The occupation like it says the something hard and soft. I can't read that. Ceramic Tire. tile. Tile setters. Oh, yeah. tile setters hard and soft. Uh, this one is employee struck by slow moving vehicle. I like this one a lot. Uh, employee number one, while working as a, uh, I can't read that, something inside yeah, bro, a construction you gotta, zone, you made your shit too was small. hit by a vehicle driven by an elderly man. <laughs> the vehicle was traveling between five and 10 miles an hour. <laughs> he was taken to the hospital for treatment of a laceration and concussion. So yeah, some re- yeah. some old guy going five miles an hour <laughs> in a car hit this guy <laughs> while he was working in a construction zone. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, I like that one. Um, employee becomes ill while picking fruit. <laughs> An employee was packaging table grapes when packing uh, grapes. The employees. Uh, oh my god, I made everything Pull so. It up yeah, on your dude, phone. what the Pull hell did phone? you do? The point is, this bitch was uh, uh, f- felt numbness, blind, blurred vision, and shortness of breath. This uh, for no reason. While well, you, this you don't lady, call her a bitch. This old lady, she was forty-two years old. And she didn't even go to the hospital. She just felt ill while she was picking fruit. Why would you report that to? OSHA? Sometimes I feel ill when I'm picking fruit at the grocery store because of how many options there are. Yeah, yeah. Or also the bananas are brown. Oh yeah. yeah. When I go to the uh, the exotic fruit section, I touch a dragon fruit. Oh, Im- um, this is yeah. employee yeah. injured by venomous vector. We won't do that <laughs> venomous one. Venomous vector is so funny. Yeah. yeah. I read the whole thing. There's nothing they don't yeah, say at really all. Not what it could that. possibly be. It, it's it, got to be a cobra. But at the bottom, it does say bee sting animal bite. So oh, it's got okay. to be something. Oh, another one that this reminded me of that I put in, that I didn't put in, was uh, was employee bitten by snake or spider. <laughs> they were like, he wasn't sure what he got bit by. Two employees are injured from firearm discharge. Oh. So I won't read this whole thing, but what happened here is that a, they were at a range, and a guy shot through his own hand into another guy's asshole. The hole? Is it the hole? Yeah. The asshole. And then these two guys decided to call OSHA with a bullet 
in the guy's ass. They called OSHA because they were at work? I bet or they were police officers, right? They were they guards were and police. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so there were two cops, yeah. and, one, and he shot through his left hand into another guy's ass. Jesus. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I thought yeah. it was kind of a neat one. I would um, love to see that in a movie. Employees buttock impaled by rake. <laughs> 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 Employee fed, fell off a bed, the bed of a dump truck and landed on an asphalt rake became impaled in his buttock area. I also looked up buttock, but I couldn't find anything. You good. didn't find this one? No. Uh, he was helping to patch a hole in the hot asphalt. Due to the asphalt near the tailgate of the truck getting cool, the asphalt did not slide to the tailgate and was not usable. Hey, that guy got a hole in his asphalt for sure. Come on now. Because of his butt. He got a hole in his... Oh, he got another hole in his well, butt. He, already had, he said he rake. got a hole. He already had a hole. He got he another really, hole in his asphalt. Talk about tearing him a new one. That's there we go. Okay. 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 It was it was right there, and I didn't take it. Employee his, is injured when cow charges into gate. A part-time employee with uh, the livestock market was helping to move cattle to designated piers during a livestock auction. As a cow was moving down an alley, a coworker signaled employee number one to let the cow enter a particular pen. As the cow approached the designated pen, he opened the pen gate. But the cow stopped. <gasps> Employee number one then backed up to allow the gate to fully open and stood behind it. Rather than enter the pen, the cow jumped over the gate. Whoa. What the? This is a high jumping cow. Employee number Does one. Say that? Yes. <laughs> this is a one of the highest jumping cows. <laughs> he, okay, here's what it should say. Rather than enter the pen, the cow jumped over the gate, breaking a world record. No, no. Because <laughs> one of them jumped, jumped over, over the moon. moon. Yeah. Jinx. That is not even true. That's a true story from about? a true song. That song is supposed to be like Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. It's not called a... F uh, the hey cow diddle struck diddle. the gate, <laughs> knocking it. Okay, the cow jumped over the moon, a including the gate. <laughs> hey, diddle diddle is exactly like Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. The cow yeah. struck the gate, knocking it into his face. Employee number one was transported to the hospital and transferred to a medical center where he was treated for fractures to his upper jaw, nose, and both eye sockets. His uh. sense of smell was also impaired. Oh, uh. no. Well, that might be nice if you're working on a farm. Yeah, yeah it's you really can't smell cow shit. If you're in a livestock bad. market, it's pretty yeah. actually kind of a blessing to have yeah. your sense of smell impaired. Um, worker unearths beehive and is stung in the face over 100 times. I have oh, this one. Man. You have this one? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll save it for you then. You could use this one later. Oh, you read it. I don't have it. The, oh, I just wait, have the title. One. Yeah. Um... On 8 a.m. at August, on August 10th, 2017, employee number one employed by a construction company was clearing land at a job site. Employee unearthed a beehive. He was stung in the face over 100 times. Emergency services were Jesus called Christ. and the employee was transported to the hospital. He was admitted and treated for the bee stings. <laughs> <laughs> for if you can believe that. 100 times. 100 times. Is I don't crazy. think I could fit yeah. those on my face. Also, the How do you word, get stung by 100 bees? Big the word un unearthed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> must have had a receding hair. He must have been covered in honey. Yeah. Face that goes up to the top of his or head. Or wait, what do be bees make honey? They bees like, bears. like flowers they like and flowers. He might have been covered in flowers and bear fur. Yeah. They don't like bears. Well, it says here he or was, uh, it says bears unearthing like honey. or whatever. Earth moving equip. All right, I guess go to my slides. Uh, Jubio doesn't want yeah. to go to your slides. Jubio is, is he's tired sluggish. of working. Yeah. All right. So uh, these are just some titles I found that I that I liked. Uh, key, well, keyword guy. Yep. One hundred and seventy-seven results. No girls. Couldn't find the word girl there. Wow. Mm -hmm. You didn't. But I guess Cameron found all of them. <laughs> but. Uh, I have a oh, also, I couldn't women. find the, the risotto did not return any results. <laughs> no results for risotto. No results for fucked. risotto. That is fucked. That is so fucked. Uh, employee fractures tibia and fibula after being kicked by a hoe. <laughs> no. Employee suffers from pre-existing condition. <laughs> Worker unearths beehive and is stung in the face over 100 times. Worker injures hand in noodle machine. <laughs> employee fractures hand while sorting grapes. <laughs> while sorting <laughs> That's some heavy uh, grapes. Oh my god! Whoa. I squeezed. That. What did you do? I, I could read it on my computer. Um, teacher is inadvertently struck by student, falls and breaks. Uh, so what happened was the <laughs> teacher falls and breaks. Employee number one, a teacher employed by a school district, was watching students play a game of Foursquare. One of the students backed up into the teacher and knocked her onto the ground. Emergency services were called. I think she broke. Yeah, she fractured her hip. Oh my god! After she was. Uh, 
I like to think that she was watching this four square game and just like throwing down like one dollar bills. But uh, this next one, uh, employee is injured when struck by frozen chicken. Oh, you marked this one up. Yeah, I, I marked it, but then realized uh, the window was too small for me to read anything. Um, yeah, an employee on January. Yeah, employee of a, a temporary employment agency uh, attempted to clear a blocked pipe on the jib chiller. Uh, oh, yeah, while the jib clearing chiller. the blockage, the employee was struck in the face with a plug containing ice <laughs> and chicken parts. The employee suffered a broken jaw and shoulder injury. That was what was cl- blocking the pipe. A chicken a plug parts. made of ice and chicken yeah. parts. Oh my god! Imagine like getting your shit rocked by like a chicken wing. <laughs> yeah, that, that must was, suck bad, so uh, bad. Yeah, it's not a, even a chicken; it's chicken parts. Sure. Yeah, employee employee is injured in fall from ladder. Now you think like, oh, this is just like a typical like, oh, he fell, hit his back. No, he was getting a cheese sample from a ho- a hopper. <laughs> he slipped and let. Or can you make the window big again? I like can't he read fell it at all. Approximately six feet. Yeah. Landing in a straddling position on a handrail. I found this because of the keywords penis, ladder slip, food <laughs> packing. So he, he fell off of a ladder. He this landed is like, on his wiener and balls yeah, on a handrail. This happened at like, like I feel like this is a, a Kevin McAllister trap. Yeah. There's this is, no that's way. A movie yeah. Do not let Kevin McAllister onto the work site. No, no. no. This guy way. is not. No. He's a child. Uh huh. Second of all, this guy has not done an OSHA 40 hour. No, no, no actually, no, no, the shot this no. thing from. Maybe he has now. Maybe he, uh, he, he. You know, I mean, that movie came out in what 93. Kevin McAllister's yeah, got to be old enough, enough now. now. Yeah. Uh, employee is bitten on penis by Black Widow <laughs> spider. That's scary. That is so, so scary. So the employee, he was. Uh, Working on a job site, went into the porta potty and got his his penis bit by a black widow. That's horrible. Which I thought he was fucking the spider. <laughs> Wait, this is Kern County. Where's that? This is in Bakersfield. Oh wow. shit! Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, but the uh, so I guess black widows. This is another reason wait, why wait, you wait, don't wait, ever want to shit in a. Uh, Let me read this this sentence that's at the end. Uh huh. A causal factor for this event was identified. This yeah. guy did something. Yeah. He, what do you he mean? was he was fucking the spider. He tried to fuck the spider, man. What do you think he tried or to fuck the spider? Get a he was trying to kill the spider with his penis. Yeah. Do you oh, think that he that was thing. trying to do that or maybe he went in there to uh take a shit? Maybe this, this is just cuz I mean, hey, those when you sit down on a porta potty toilet, those things are kind of deep. That's got to be such a nightmare to get bitten on the dick and realize it was a black widow. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. It could have been any spider. Yeah, yeah, because that could have destroyed his penis for good. Probably did. did. It probably yeah. did. I'm sure it did. They uh, definitely took away part of it. Yeah. Well, speaking of taking away a part of a penis, uh, I found the absolute worst thing Uh-oh. in the world, um, and the reason why I don't wear sweatpants. I think I've talked about it before. Your print is too small. My print is too small. Yeah. But employee is entangled in oh mixer no. and is seriously <laughs> injured. Oh no. He employee was wearing loose cotton drawstring shorts. No. Fuck. The other drawstring dangled loosely on the outside panel of the front shorts. He was cleaning a uh, like uh, in a mixer. The outside drawstring on employee one short got entangled in the rotating shaft oh where the accessories God. are oh usually attached. The inside drawstring wrapped around employee one's testicles <laughs> no, and the oh shaft of his penis oh while God. the outside drawstring pulled employee one into the commercial oh. mixer. Read the next thing. The employee's skin degloved from the shaft and castrated his two testicles oh as a result of the accident. God. Employee one picked up his <laughs> testicles off the ground oh. where the commercial mixer is located, then placed them inside of a plastic bag with a ice pack. Physicians were unable to reattach his testicles, but were able to perform a skin oh, graft to replace oh the lost my skin God. on his penis. Oh, my God. Oh. That is that so is horrible. That is actually worse is than dying. 30 yeah. times worse. Degloved the he skin de- of his shaft. Gloved. He picked his balls up off the ground. He had to oh, pick up his like own balls. That's like Civil War shit. He de- the, the de- like, oh, here's my leg. The degloving of the skin on the shaft. 
Here, okay. First of all, this is uh, uh, this. I put this in here as a PSA against sweatpants, but I also put it in here as a PSA against circumcision. This is what oh. you're doing to your babies True. every yep. single time Dropping you get the balls them on the circumcised. Yeah. But it probably would have not have happened if he was circumcised. Keep it good. Leave the hood. I'm wearing drawstring shorts right now. I actually am too. I'm going to get sucked into this <laughs> you mixer. Are, your dick is <laughs> gonna gone. Get caught yeah. in, the, in a mixer board. Imagine your getting caught gone. in this one and like yeah. your balls have like, or uh, high, make you sound the, high the pitched. Drawstring gets stuck in the fader and I'm trying to turn the volume up and <laughs> pulling my dick <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be louder. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, that has got to be uh, one of the worst things I've ever heard so, in my so entire terrible. life. Is so that your last one? That is my last one. Okay, good. Because um, I don't think I can handle yeah, that. That's, that has I think to that be one ruined finale. everything yeah, for that, me. That uh-huh. is, I don't like this website anymore. No, yeah. I didn't like it I thought to it was begin funny with. until yeah, you, put, we, you put the worst one. We did all of this, and then I couldn't find it funny, and then I just kept looking at the... It really uh, was making me... The best gore version of the website. This, You know what this is? This is like... Um, this is like best gore for like a it like like a text based best gore. <laughs> That's so awful, man. It's so bad. It's really horrible. Yeah. So um, who sent this to us? Vexa. Um, Vexa. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> this is just, I never wanted to read that story. <laughs> we thought that this would be funny. It was funny. It was funny. You just put at the end a, a crazy put, one. Yeah. You kind of you you I, and you made in. It's not my fault. You put it in. You <laughs> screenshotted it. You highlighted. You hi- it. Yeah, you highlighted the most gruesome parts. This is not my. But the one thing I'm not gonna accept is uh, responsibility for. <laughs> okay. What That's I put fine. in the slideshow. Um, That's the but one what thing I will accept. Re- accept responsibility for is booking an amazing show on the 14th of July at Littlefield. World's biggest army. Uh, tickets are still available, uh, and they're going to be available until the 14th when you can maybe Unless it buy them at the door or it could sell out before. Um, something is going to happen at that show that you are not going to want to miss. I don't like you saying that after the thing you just yeah, read. Yeah, don't do this. Something no. is going to happen, and let's just say uh, don't show up wearing sweatpants. Because you're going to suck. I'm going to suck. Because Pat's skin. Gonna, Pat won't be able to I focus on the show. I will suck the, the print. skin <laughs> off. Oh, my God. <sighs> yeah. On the print. Fuck, mm-hmm. dude. All oh, right. my God. Come to Littlefield. Right. Right. Come to Littlefield on the, on the 14th. Bye-bye. And happy birthday, Cameron. Happy birthday. <laughs> let, yeah. me, let me Smells just say, weird. let me... I meant I got a I got a I forgot got to a apologize to for something. What'd you do? I had to issue an apology to our producer. Um, Jubio, if you want to get on screen to uh, accept this apology what? or deny it, it's kind of hard for him to do that. Um, I'm here. Okay. Um, so last night I was asking for uh, reference photos for a D and D poster for pictures of our faces, and. Um, Jubio, um, let's let's just say he, um, I thought he was uh, trolling me. Oh no! And in a hit the GoPro cam, Jubio. Yep. In a in a fit of rage, um, my my girlfriend was is kind enough to uh, draw this poster for us, and because I was getting trolled by Jubio last night, I um, commissioned her with a snack, and said, "Can you please draw this um, immediately?" and come to my defense i'm being trolled and um she drew this whoa which is boobio and i just want to say that i'm sorry to jubio why i'm apologizing why are you removing well, you points? still did it he didn't even know you did that until right now you didn't have this could have stayed between you and your girlfriend this was in the group chat this is in the group chat oh i don't check i saw that this thing. You sent a photo. You sent a reference photo. Show, show you, my photo. Yeah, wait. <laughs> also, if we're getting into this, I need my photos to be shown, and I need okay. I need to get some. GoPro. I need to get some. Uh, Here's my photo. That's a nice photo. It's a, one of my best photos. So look at show the photo that I sent. My girlfriend said she needed a. And now, a read, better, and now read what you said. No, 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 no explanation. Just read I what you said in response photo to that photo with your hair, Cam. With my hair. Okay, now what did Cameron send? I okay. I said that because my girlfriend told me. How does that me, photo not have fo- my show hair? Show the photo that Cameron sent. It's just a photo of his hair. But you know why? Because he's following orders. <laughs>